I don't understand what you are saying, Faith. How could you people shift the date forward? Calm down, mom. It is just a week. It's not like he cancelled the whole thing. I don't understand why you are pissed. Why would I be angry, Faith? So it is at this time that you both realize you are supposed to manage the 200,000 naira for the wedding. We just need something that will create a wonderful memory. You know, this thing is once in a lifetime. So having a small wedding cannot produce good memories. I am not happy about this at all. I told you to let me talk to Matthew when it was still early, but you refused. It's not like people are really affected by this. It's not like they will attend the wedding anyway. We might just do a little celebration in church for Thanksgiving. The problem is that you don't listen to me. If you had spoken to Matthew about this, I'm sure you would be married by now. Oh my god, I don't know how to convince you anymore that it is just a week. Everything will go on smoothly. The pastor did not even complain. Are your friends aware? Speaking of Christabel and Cassandra, we ceased communication for some time now. Cassandra told me she will relocate from this city. Really? That means she won't have the chance of attending your wedding. I will visit her one of these days. If she still doesn't want to attend, then I will not force her. I hope you like it here. Well, I can't say I like it here because it is not your house. I don't even know your name. Is it necessary to know my name? We just have to go to the point, right? You seem like a novice. And that was actually the first time I saw you at the bar. I am familiar with a lot of people there because I go there almost every day. For how long have you been doing this? Hmm, should be up to a year now. So don't worry, you will not regret bringing me here. Why are you doing this? Is there a particular reason you are into this type of work? Is there a problem? Did you bring me here to ask me questions? Are we not supposed to get to why we are here? I'm really sorry for the questions, but I just want to know the lady I will be sleeping with. Please don't get me wrong, I have plans of paying you well. Actually, I'm doing this because of condition. My parents are very poor. They sacrificed all they had to send me to school with the hope I'll graduate and find something better. So you are a graduate? Yes, I'm a graduate with no job. After graduation, I stayed back in the city to find something better to do. But nothing. So I decided to do this to support my parents and support myself as well. Jesus loves you. Excuse me? Yes, he loves you. Actually, I was sent here to talk to you and to let you see the brighter side of life. God is willing to be gracious to you today and give you what you don't deserve. Oh, please, don't even talk to me about God. I have lost all hope when it comes to Him. I have accepted my fate and I will bear the consequences of my sin when the time comes. Please don't say that. It is not too late to turn away from sin and He is willing to forgive you all your sins if you turn away from sin. I am from a Christian family. I was raised to serve God, but things are really difficult for my family. Are we not supposed to live a comfortable life because we serve the Supreme God? Everything on earth will perish and we will have an eternal life with God. You should be more focused on having an eternal life than the enjoyment and material things on earth. I don't think God will forgive me. I have done too many bad things. My sins are way too much. Luke 3 16 says, Until you repent, you will perish. Repentance is more than feeling sorry for your sin. You should be willing to turn away from your sin and to turn to God. He would never accept me. God is a very merciful God. All you have to do is beg for forgiveness and all your sins are washed away. Salvation is a free gift. You can have it if you are willing. <coughs> yes, I am willing to turn away from my sins and turn to God. I can imagine her face when she's angry. No wonder she called me that evening. Did you pick up? No, I didn't. I was in a meeting with the youth. Although I called her later, but she told me to forget about it. My mom can be funny about it. If you had picked up when she first called you, she would have blasted you. By the time you called back, she was already calm. Tell her not to be angry. Very soon the date will be here. I know she is disappointed about us shifting the date. You know it is necessary. At least it will give us enough time to prepare for it. You look thin. Have you not been feeding well? I have been sick for some days now. As I am talking to you, I feel very weak. I just feel like lying down. You have been sick and hid it from me. Even my mother doesn't know about it. I don't like making people worry about me. Although my mom is already suspecting that I am not feeling too well. And you like it that way? Come on my love, I should be the first person to know if you are not feeling well. Let's go to the hospital please. I don't think it is necessary. Please don't argue with me, your health is more important. Let's go to the hospital. Okay. I can't believe this. I'm not sure the doctor checked well. Finished, Marty. What have you done? How could this happen? How are we going to get out of this place? I'm not tired of crying already. Calm down. Let's think of a way out of this. You know, crying will not solve the issue. So, what should we do? I am really scared. Getting paid out of wedlock is what I have been dreading the most. I didn't expect this to happen. But at your age, you should know it's dangerous for you to get home without taking a contraceptive to terminate whatever we did. 
How was I supposed to know what to do? You took advantage of me. I already told you I don't want to do anything out of wedlock. But you tricked me to spend the night with you. We did this together. Don't even try to form the victim. We are both popular people in church. What do you think will happen if they find that we are indulged in sex before marriage? That is my fears. I don't know what to do either. It will be a big shame and disgrace to us. We might even be pushed out of from our position. <laughs> oh my god, now I am more scared. What should we do, Matthew? Just go and we talk about it later. Please do not let your mom know what happened. You are finally back. Where have you been? We didn't speak your calls. Sorry about that. I'm so tired. Has it been long you came back? I slept off and I didn't check the time this morning. The person that took you home last night must have done a good job for you to sleep for so long. Something miraculous happened yesterday when I went to the bar. Really? Wow, just me. You live on another big client that pays really well. You better not tell me who he is, else I will still go for him. I am no longer interested in this business. I am backing out and I want you to back out soon. I know you are joking. You are backing out from where? From our source of life food. There are more better things to do than prostitution. I am very serious. I don't want to do this business anymore. I will find something else to do. Even if to be a sales girl for someone, I want to live a decent life. I can't believe you are saying this. What happened when you went out? God decided to save me from this terrible life I am living. I am not a changed person, Judith. What we are doing is drawing us closer to our graves. We both need God in our lives. <laughs> You are so funny, love it. So just few hours ago, you left this house. You are already a changed person. Yes, that is because I have made up my mind to turn away from sin and turn to God. This business has done us more harm than good. I can see you are high in cheap drugs. When you are back to your right senses, we will talk. No be only change. Don't tell me you are moody, because we will leave this place tomorrow morning. So you mean you won't miss anything about this place? Come on, we have lived here for a very long time, so it is normal for me to feel this way. Yes, I know. I hope you know that you can always come here whenever you want. It is a free world. If you miss this place too much, you can always come. So what about Faith's wedding? Are we really going to miss a wedding? Christabel, please don't stress me with such questions. If you want to attend her wedding, then you are free. I'm not even sure the wedding will still hold. I heard in church that the wedding has been postponed and it will be a court's wedding. That means not much people will attend. Exactly! So even if the wedding holds, it is of no importance. I will not attend the wedding. I just want to leave this place. I will miss Johnson. I guess I still have to come once in a while. Are you done packing your things? I don't want to hear you forgot anything tomorrow. Everything has been packed. <laughs> I have not been myself ever since I found out I am pregnant. I did day and night know what to do with this child. Where exactly have you been thinking? This child is not a big deal like you paint it. Are you the first person to get pregnant? Yes, pregnant out of wedlock. This is not the kind of life I planned for myself, Matthew. Do you know what will happen to me in church? Find out. Calm down, Faith. We can always find a way out. Actually, I thought about it too and I have come to a conclusion on what to do. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Please leave me yes, because the more we delay, the more worried I will be. Just take a look at you. One will easily know you are not feeling well. Stop making it look like the whole world is on your shoulders. <laughs> I can't help it. I just wish we waited till our wedding before involving ourselves in such an art. You have to go for abortion. What? Yes, you heard me fit. This is the only way we can save ourselves from the doom that will happen to us. We have to get rid of the child. Are you out of your mind? It is enough that we had sex before marriage. Why do we have to worsen it by killing the innocent child? So what do you want us to do? Let's keep the child. Yes, I know we will face a lot of terrible consequences for our actions, but we deserve it. We have always been preaching against sexual affair before marriage. Yes, we didn't practice what we preached. You must be joking. Do you know the implications of our actions? Babe, it doesn't matter. They will not kill us. I know we will be relieved of our positions in church, but if God can forgive our sins, then we can keep this child, get married and raise the child we love. This is not a movie fit. It's reality. It's not as easy as you claim. It is not easy, but we can push through it. I am the one to suffer the most, but I don't mind. I don't even know how to face my mother about this. You must get rid of that child. You are leaving so early in the morning. Do you mind telling me where you are going to? Where am I going is none of your business. I must tell you that I am very disappointed in you. Just take a look at you, Lovett. Do you love the life you want to live now?
Yes, I do. This life is different from the life I was raised with. I followed Christ because of my family, but now I am following him willingly, and it has given me the peace of mind I have always wanted. I feel at ease with myself. Oh, my name, why are you? Just wait for one week until you have exhausted all the money you save. Then we will know if Christ will come down from heaven and save you. Judith, I will get a job. A genuine job. Actually, I went out for job hunting this morning, but I found nothing yet. I bet you, it won't take long for me to find something better. Good for you. As for me, I am not going out to make hundred or thousand of naira. I won't be back today. Maybe tomorrow morning. Judith, why can't you let go of this life you're living? There is nothing on earth. We should be more concerned about our afterlife. You amaze me, love it. I heard you praying and crying all through the night. <laughs> After you have done so many abortions and you have slept with so many men, you now turn a new leaf. Yes, I am a sinner. God is not like man. He is a merciful God. He looks beyond our sin. Because both of us wouldn't be alive today because of the numerous bad things we have done in the past. I just speak to you. Because this repentance you are talking about will not last. I hope you know I will not feed you when the time comes. Do yourself the favor and repent from this life you are living. It is better to be broke and have Jesus than have riches and lack salvation. Okay, ma'am. I will repent. And when I return from this one, see you later. Faith is becoming more stubborn by the day. There's no way I will let her keep that child. I will not let her tarnish my reputation. I know how hard I've worked over the years to get this position I'm in, in church. Everyone takes me as a saint. I will not let them see me less. That child is bad luck and a temptation. I will make sure I overcome this particular temptation. I have to keep my record clean. Nobody must know faith and I involved ourselves in any sexual affair. I have to find a way to terminate that baby. But I don't know how to. It will be easier if faith gives her consent. But she's adamant to keep. So I will do it my own way. I have to visit Chica to give me an abortion drug so I can give her to take. I have to put it in a drink. You are welcome to my house, love it. When you called to request for my address, I didn't believe you would actually come. Why not? I actually wanted to come yesterday, but I was too busy all through the day. I went out for job hunting. So have you found a job yet? No, none yet. I am still searching, but I believe I will find something better soon. It's okay. I'm very happy that you have stopped the previous work. Don't worry. I am certain you will find something better. Just keep searching. Thank you so much. You are blessed, love it. Continue serving God and you will never regret it. You told me you have a friend that stays with you. Yes, I do. I tried talking her out of such lifestyle, but she's not ready to change. I am really worried about her. I would like to see her. If we convince her together, I am certain God will intervene. She left the house since yesterday morning. She's yet to return. In fact, I couldn't sleep all through the night. I kept having bad dreams about her. Have you tried calling her? Her number is not going through. It's been off. But I spoke to her that morning. Ever since then, I have not been able to get to her. It's okay. Don't worry. She'll return safe and sound. Just go home and continue searching for a job. If I see vacancy anywhere, I will let you know. Thank you very much, Johnson. You don't have to thank me. Please, just do the right thing. Let me get you something to drink. My love. I thought you wouldn't come today. I've been calling you, but your line wasn't going through. I am really sorry, dear. My phone fell into a bucket of water. Ever since then, it has refused functioning. I just have to repair it. But I spoke with you a few hours ago. Yeah, that was after I spoke with you on the phone. Don't worry, I'll repair it. It is nothing serious. How are you doing? I should be the one to ask you, considering the fact that you are not feeling too well. The pregnancy symptoms and the fact that you have been thinking about it. Don't worry about me. I have made up my mom to keep it, so it doesn't bother me so much. Although it is difficult to keep it from my mom because she keeps asking questions. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I've also decided to keep the baby. I will support you all the way. After all, we'll be married soon. Are you serious? Oh, I am so happy to hear this. I have been waiting for you to say this. Thank you so much, my love. Our wedding will soon be here. We'll just make the confession in church. Even if they decide to relieve us of our duty, it is better than killing an innocent child. You are right. Even if you don't make a confession in church, they will still find out. You know we have to undergo a series of tests and present the test result to the pastor before we will be married. I am glad you changed your mind. I love you, baby. I love you too. Let me go get you something to drink. Babe, how do you feel? Do you want me to get anything for you? <laughs> no, I don't need anything. I feel very weak. I feel pain on my abdomen. I don't know what is going on. 
Don't worry, it'll just be for the meantime. You'll be fine. Maybe I should get you a glass of cold water. It will make you feel better. I don't need water. Please take me to the hospital. Matthew, my body is on fire. Please let my soul leave my body very soon. Please take me to the hospital. Relax, it's just your imagination. Your soul is not going anywhere. This is just temporary. The pain will stop very soon. Just be strong. You seem to know what is wrong with me. What exactly have you done to me, Matthew? What is happening to me? Faith, I already told you I don't want us to keep this pregnancy, but you kept forcing me. You wouldn't be in so much pain if you gave your consent and we did it the right way. You did what? Matthew, please tell me what you just said is a lie. You want to have our baby, our first baby. More children will come. Just focus on recovering fast. I'm doing this for the both of us. I want to save us from shame. <laughs> you are so selfish, Matthew. This is only for yourself. Why are you this heartless, Matthew? What has this child done to you? This is our mistake. We should face the consequences and not run from it. <laughs> I cannot face the consequences. Have you thought about what your mom would do if she found out she slept in my house that day you lied you were with Cassandra? <laughs> I will never forgive you for this, Matthew. You'll be fine. The pain is temporary. Very soon to stop. Let me get some food stuff so I can prepare something delicious for you to eat. Oh, someone is finally home today. Where have you been, love it? You're welcome, Emma. It's been a while I saw you. How have you been? I didn't know you were coming over. For three days now, I have been coming here. Yet, the door is always locked. Did you travel? No, I did not travel. I leave the house every day to go for job hunting. Please have a seat. Thank you. Emma, I am so happy you are here. I'm sorry I deleted your number when I found out you slept with Judith. But have you heard from her? You mean Judith? Yes, I have not heard from her for some days. I am really worried. I don't know what has happened to her. Her line is not always going through. Same here. I have been calling her, but it's either the number is switched off or it's not reachable. Oh my god. I feel there is something wrong somewhere. Judith has never been gone for this long. She returns home the next day, but it's been three days now. I have not heard anything from her. What if you report to the police? What if I report and it turns out she has been partying till today? So what do you think? I have been worried too. That is why I came here almost every day to check if I would see someone. She does not return today. I will report to the police tomorrow. Oh my god, what have I done? Please, please wake up. I didn't mean to kill you. What have I gotten myself into? Oh my god, I'm finished. What will I say happened to her? What will I even tell her mother? What should I do now? But Chica told me the abortion pills I dissolved in her drink will not harm her. He told me to only terminate the pregnancy. Then how come she's lying dead on my bed? I'll put myself in a very big mess. What will I tell people? I just wanted to get away from the first mistake, but now I've worse the whole thing. I need to hide this her corpse. I can't afford to let anyone know about it. I have to finish what I started. Maybe I should bury her at the back of my house. No, that's not a good idea. I have to take her to the mortuary first. I will know what to do after making a decision. Good evening to you. Good evening to you too, officer. Are you the officer that spoke with me with Judith's phone? Yes, he must be loved. I am certain I am in the right place. Yes, you are. Are you not supposed to be here with Judith? What relationship do you have with Miss Judith? I thought you told me you found her. She's my best friend. We went to the same university. We've been friends for a very long time, so we've turned to be sisters. Hmm, that's sad. Officer, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Where is my friend? Why is she not back home with you? Is she still at the station? What is her crime? Calm down. Please follow me. I want to show you something. No, I will not come until you tell me where my friend is. She has been missing for days now. Today is actually the first time I saw her number on my screen. I thought she was the one calling. I never knew someone else would speak to me. I don't know how to break this news to you, Miss Lovett. But it will be better if you follow me to where I want to take you to. Officer, I already told you. I would not come with you until you tell me where my friend is. Judith is dead. She is what? She is dead. We found her body on the side of the road this afternoon. Her handbag was beside her and her phone was in it. We took her body to the mortuary and we powered her phone on. The first number we saw was your number. It turned out you were the last person she spoke to. Oh, no, this can't be true. Judith is not dead. She cannot be dead. Please calm down. You have to follow us to the mortuary to identify her body and to answer some questions. <laughs> 